Hi, it's Jason with Golf Principles. I'm going to talk a little bit about McElroy. Obviously, over the weekend, he's blitzed the field away. There's a couple of changes that he's made to his golf bag and his golf swing that I want to talk about in relation to what hopefully you can understand and maybe try yourselves. Rory's got in the gym, he's got a bit stronger, he's got leaner, he looks like he's an athlete now. And he's changed flex of shafts. He's gone from a 6.5 project into the 701. A little bit heavier, a little bit stronger. And what that's doing, he hates the hook. His destructive shot, he gets in, in, underneath and inside. And Michael Bannon, his coach, has done a fantastic job in getting in more what he called on plane. Rory's golf swing has always been a talent, but his ability now to put it on plane and keep it on plane is huge. When he goes off the boil, you've probably noticed that when he swings it, the club drops behind underneath him. Now he's struggling. Now he's chasing with the hands. You'll see that massive release with the arms and the hands. And then the thing rolls over and it's a big old snap hook or a big block. That's his killer shot. What you've seen over the last probably three, four weeks, he's worked really hard at getting it more neutral. So when he's swinging it, you'll see a predominantly less dropping effect and a much more rotational effect with the body. So his hips have always been incredibly quick. We've always seen that and his commentators picking that up every time. Oh, his hips are so quick. But as long as the club is getting in front of him and staying there, he's always good. As soon as it drops, that's where he gets in trouble. So for those of you who are what we call drop kickers, and you get this way, and dropping it under you, just try and feel you keep it on plane more. It will almost feel a little bit like you're coming over the top of it, right? You won't be, but it will feel like the club is in front of you. Then keep your body turning. Rules the game. If you're going to swing on a one axis swing, or one plane swing, or whatever you want to call it, you've got to keep turning. If you stop turning, the club will keep swinging, and you'll flick at it, and you'll flash it with the hands. And the club face then is so unstable, it's like a, uh, it's like a, uh, a crisp packet in the wind. It's got no chance. So try and feel that when you're swinging on a one axis swing, the chest, the hips, the body keep turning, and the club stays in front of you. McElroy has done an unbelievable job getting that back, because he got in a really bit of a mess really over the last probably nine months but it looks phenomenal right now and I think he could dominate for, for years to come but have a look at that and uh, if you are a bit of a drop kicker just try and feel you keep turning and keep the club in front of you.